uh, so it's uh, Saturday the 25th up in the Cairn Gorms at the Sugar Bowl car park. Uh, we're going to camp here tonight, well, maybe in this car park, there's a wee spot just there, it might be nice, or we might just camp at the side of the road down there a wee bit. I uh, just went and John came up, the guy, John Smith, I'm going to be doing the cooling ridge with him in September, so uh, the first, first time working with John, so he's due up at 8 o'clock, it's 7 o'clock just now, so we'll get an hour to wait. Uh, very windy at the moment, and it's to be very windy tomorrow, so the plan tomorrow is uh, to do uh, the Fecal Ridge, and once we're on the plateau, head down to Loch Haven and do the Monroe at the back of that, and, uh, well, weather permitting obviously, that's the kind of plan. Uh, it's been windy tomorrow, but I think it's about a 60% uh, chance of cloud free Monroe, so we'll go for it anyway, and see how we get on. Uh, so that's John arrived, <clears throat> so we've got this wee spot here just next to the road, where the tent's up now. A wee bit of rain come on there, I think it was just a passing shower. And as I say, when uh, that wind dies down, bloody midges are out. Yeah, so this is the uh, sunset we've got tonight up in Cairngorms. <coughs> the sky is absolutely on fire. Absolutely stunning. Many midges will be out. They taste the whiskey actually, John. <laughs> the midges are going down the street along with the whiskey. Uh, so it's Sunday morning now, and uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, well 10 to 6. Uh, we've had our breakfast, so we're just getting our uh, gear together. Uh, we'll strike camp, and then we'll head up to the ski centre, and uh, we'll start the walk for there. Yeah, so it's us up at the uh, ski centre, car park, half past six. Uh, so we're ready to rock and roll. We've been breezy up here, so it's going to be really bad up there. So, we shall see how this one goes. Ready for this one, Johnny? Let's go. Yeah, the clouds starting to clear a bit now, and that's the shoulder we've got there. You can just see the fecal ridge uh, in the background there. Conditions are good at the moment. Nice breeze, keeps you cool. Now going underfoot is good. No wet or damp or anything, just nice. So long may that continue. John's just de -learn. Want them work. Ah, so we're coming up at the top bit now. That's the back rock. And that's the Fico Ridge straight ahead. Maybe we come back down that way. Maybe we hope. Uh, they watch over these gusts.
Uh, it's nice and sheltered in this bit. Ah, that's fine there, John. <whistles> Can I beat it on a Sunday morning, eh? <laughs> ah, right, cheers, John. Ah, so we're just going to go right up this wee ridge. I think that's the best way, so let's go. Just watch that rock in front of you, it's loose. That one. So, almost at the top of this wee bit. John Smith, he came, he saw, he conquered. The first bit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Breezy up here. There's a uh, straight ahead with the tours on it. But it's gusting quite strong up here. Views are tremendous up. Oh, the tops are clear. That's Cairn Gorm up there with the weather station. Ah, uh, I need to cut across this bit here. Ah, interesting. Think that's a wee bit there, no? John, think that's too slippy to get across there? Aye. Right, we'll try this but Aye. Ah, not too bad this John. And there we are up there. The old tours. But it's still gusting very strong up here.
the cliffs are immense. Some great climbing for the mountaineers on that. Anyway, not too far to go now till we're at the bottom. Yeah, so that's us doing it lock level now. That was a good wee path coming down there. Just start away through that gap up there. Yeah. Impressive cliffs over my shoulder, eh? A bit sight to see in winter. With splinter coat on. So we're going to try and have a, well we will have a look at a shelter stone. But, uh, aye, just basically following this wee stream, didn't it? Up to the shelter stone now. And that could be up there. Some sizes, big boulders. See all these rocks here are mighty impressive. I don't think we've actually found uh, the shelter stone, so I don't know if this is it just around here. We'll have a look anyway. We're heading for that path over there anyway, so we'll have a look en route. Oh, this rock's grippy. Is that aye? Oh, aye, aye, up there. Aye. Cool. What? Cool. Cool? Is that aye? Ah, well. That's. <laughs> No, oh, aye, bag of coal. Nuts, how do you call it? Nuts. Nuts, aye. No, proper coal. Oh, aye, right, aye. Steel, aye. Right there, uh, here's another one. As I say, it's like a housing estate up here. And there'll be one in there. Ah, yeah, no, aye. There's an R entrance to maybe the same bit. Nah, it's just a wee bit there. But again, pretty sheltered. Aye. Warren work on this end again.
That's almost four and a half hours we've been on the go. <coughs> Fair old trek into this one. But the views are amazing. We came from our way up there. Yeah, so it's getting pretty brittle now. That's uh, the wind thing. This is us at the first tour. So we've got a wee scramble up here now. Have you come, John? <laughs> anyway, up here. So it took us uh, six hours bang on to get to this one. Uh, so we just got a wee bit of shelter here. Had a wee bit of lunch, some tea and drink. So oh, it's a long journey back. And that wind is no letting up at all. So let's go on with this, eh? Oh, let's go. So that's us heading off again. Let's see how long it takes us to get back. Yeah. As you can see, 
something now. That was brutal coming along that plateau. Really strong winds. Yeah, I shot us back at the shelter stone. There they are. Out the window. Yeah, the window we back and go back at the window. Now we've still got to head up onto the, the plateau again. So it's gonna be pretty bad up there again, I would imagine. But it's all cliffs up there for this morning, all flag covered. It's the way we come down. Anyway. We're making progress now. Uh, you can see where we were up there. Just a flag cover. Can you see nothing up there? And the wind was horrendous. Just uh, try to blow you up all the time. And the worst that was up at the summit, on top of that tower, absolutely blowing a hoolie. But, we got it done. All that nasty weather. That was brutal. Hardest sight ever. Sodden. It'll be a full change of clothing when I get in there. Right, so it's like back in the car. It's half past four. I think that was uh, ten hours spot on. Uh, glad to get back in, John. Good day though. She's bloody miserable up there. So uh I'm glad to get down to it that. It's not a good day though. So I'm gonna go on this white gear. So until the next time.